What's up, challengers? Welcome to the gym. My name is Gym Leader Geo, and today we have GBA Week 3 of Season 4 against A-Drive and the St. Louis Rampardos. Now, this is a, this is going to be a really interesting matchup. We both have pretty strong mons that'll do a lot of work to the other person's team. I'm really curious to see what he brought. Um, if you guys are curious to see about my team building process and what I thought for each uh, for each threat that we were going to be discovering, then go ahead and look at the locker room week three, which is the video that came up right before this one. So I'm going to go ahead and hit battle start here. I'm not going to bother changing. Actually, I am going to change the music just in case I randomly turn it on. We're going to hit battle start. We're going to bring the battle box and we're going to see what he brought. <sighs> I'm so excited about this. I'm nervous and excited. I'm nerve sighted. I'm also a little bit sick. He brought Rotom Wash. Terrakian, Gorgeist, Chansey, Nidoqueen, and Mega Sableye. The exact six Pokemon I said he was going to bring. So, okay, I feel relatively good about this, with the exception that uh, Fox, of course, as we mentioned, I didn't have a choice Specs. And I really wanted him to be choice Specs, so he's choice Scarfed. Uh, in this circumstance, this lead circumstance, part of what I thought was a good lead was Proto. Uh, like we discussed, the only real issue I have is if this is an offensive Rotom Wash and he leads with it. But I think he's going to lead with Sableye. I think he'll want to go for the Willow as I go for a U-turn and then I can, if he stays in, I can go into Fox. If he switches out or uh, starts setting up, I can do something different. Although, Fox might not be the right switch in anymore now that I know that... He's not Specs, so I might not be able to kill him on the next turn. Well, uh, actually, no, he's not He's not even Specs at all, or not even Scarfed. I think I made him Life Orb, last second Life Orb switch. Uh, yeah, he's Life Orb. So, that's okay. Um, let's, let's lead with Proto, because that's what I said I was going to do. Uh, looking at his past videos, he hasn't frequently led with Rotom Wash, although Rotom Wash, as we talked about, does do a good amount to my team. He probably knows that. I'm sure he's done his calcs. If he leaves with Rotom, we'll have to go from there. The best move might just be to switch in Bunny Soar, take the uh, unfortunate Volt Switch um, momentum that he gains from that. But uh, Gujra will eat that up. E Gujra will eat that up so, so well. Whew, so let's get started. Uh, my first... <laughs> My first two games against very uh, difficult teams. He's going to lead with Omelette, who is Chansey. A very interesting lead option on his part. Um, he could be fearing the knockoff. He could want to go for Stealth Rocks. He could want to go for Counter. Now, what have I calc that I can do to a Chansey? He could switch to Mega Sableye. Scizor... Hits Chansey for only 48 with superpower, so that's not great. Uh, he probably know he might go for the counter or something here. Uh, I'm gonna U-turn here to scout because I'll outspeed him if he's packing the flamethrower or something. I really, honestly think he's going for Stealth Rock here. I really do think he's doing that, um, and that's okay because this gives me one free turn to switch into basically whomever I want. And I think a good person to switch into, if he stays in, might be uh, Scallopede. Because if he's staying in and setting up rocks right now, then Scallopede can start boosting on him. And uh, that would actually be really nice. That'd be really nice if I could set up one boost and then potentially go to town with Scally. Because Scally's sashed, and if he's going to get up rocks, I need to immediately get Scully in here to start doing what he's uh, intending to do for my team. And you know, if I get a couple of speed boosts, I don't even need to be in the rain. A, a speed boosted Swords Dance past to Mega Swampert is actually really, really useful against his team. So let's get this U-turn off. He does stay in. That does a respectable amount of damage. Now the problem is if he went for counter here. If he went for counter... That's going to do a heck of a lot of damage. To it. it will kill Pete, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure it'll kill Pete. But it'll kill basically anyone if he went for counter right now. Which would be a good move on his part. So um, let's go into Pete who will have... Yeah, let's go into Pete here. Pete comes in. Did he go for counter? He did go for counter. I'll live that because of uh, Sash. And now, uh, I don't know whether or not he has an attack. He probably does. He probably has an attack. 
in which case, what is it? It's probably seismic toss. So what I could do is switch into Proto once again. Yeah, because Pete's still alive here. Pete's still up. He goes for a seismic toss. That won't do too much. Proto will take it just fine, won't take a lot of damage, and then can immediately either go for the superpower or if I'm predicting the Mega Sable, I can just go for another U-turn. Yeah, because the counter Chansey, um... Yeah, Pete, once again, looks like he's not going to be doing a, good, uh, a whole lot this match, but Chansey is an issue. Um, if he goes for Soft Boiled, then I'm, like, really in trouble, so I might just have to stay in here. Because the game with Chansey is... The game is afoot. Chansey... Chansey, of course, with counter is an issue to all my physical sweepers. But basically, anyone can take him eventually one-on-one -on -one if the situation is right. Moltres, of course, is an issue. I mean, counter Chansey just in general is, uh, is a big issue for me. If he wants to kill Pete, then what I can do is... Oh, I, oops, he switched out, and I, <laughs> I took too long to make a move, so let's see what we're going to do here. He's, I guess, what am I even doing? I went for x or that's fine. That's not the end of the world against uh, Bounce With Me. Wow, that does a lot. So, actually, not selecting a move, I, I mean, I think I was going to eventually decide to attack, but I probably wasn't going to use x or I think I was going to use Earthquake, but that did a lot to Bounce With Me. Um... Would have been nice to go for a swords dance here. He might be anticipating... He might be anticipating... Because if he goes for the willow... Well, here we go. Then If he goes for willow, then I can bring in... I can get a speed boost to my Moltres. Yeah, let's do that. Let's baton pass right now. Baton pass is plus one speed. He might go for recover. I think he's going to go for a recover here. It's too bad I didn't have um, Toxic Spikes there, because I would have been able to get them up before Bounce With Me came in. He does go for recover. Um, as I go for Baton Pass and get that plus one speed over to my boy... Anyone at this point. Anyone. Who do I want to take on Mega Sableye with plus one speed? Swampert can pretty much do it. He might have Hidden Power Grass on this guy. Uh, Moltres can do... He does a little bit less than I wanted because uh, we don't have the, the specs anymore, which is too bad. And the speed's not super useful. I mean, we could also go into Scizor and then just U-turn out. Scizor's U-turn against a defensive uh, bounce with me is about 38%. But then I just waste the speed boost. But I don't really need the speed boost. Yeah, let's go into Scizor. Hit him with the U-turn. As he inevitably goes for the... Um, goes for the Willow. And then we'll bring in Fox on the Willow. And then we'll see what we can do from there. So Proto comes back in. With a plus one speed boost. And goes for a U-turn again. So he's thinking... Um, it's kind of like a bait move, because I feel like he knows. I feel like he knows. The thing that's nice is that he didn't bring Gorgeist. So, with a little whittling down... Wait, no. He did. He brought Mega Sableye, Terrakian, Rotom Wash, Chansey, Gorgeist, and Queen. Yeah. Yeah. So, here we go. Bounce with me coming. He's thinking, giving it some thought. I feel less prepared this time. So he does stay in. I wonder if he's going to go for a Calm Mind. Wow, that must be a crit. That's a crit. Oh my god. Dan, I am so sorry. Wow, that changes a lot of... It, I mean, it doesn't change who I'm switching into. Because uh, it's still going to be Fox, so that I don't get burned. Wow, that's so bad. 
Did he go for recover? No, he goes for Willow. Oh, man. Dan, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That changes so much. Oh my god, that really does change so much. So here's what I'm going to calc now, is whether or not a Moltres that is, uh, I'm pretty sure I'm modest, but I want to make sure. Uh, it doesn't actually say there. Let's, um, I just want to make sure a modest, uninvested Moltres takes out a Mega Sableye at this range. Okay. There's 9 to 10, about 10%. To a fully invested Mega Sableye. So, it'll kill. And then, if he's opting to sack it, we can we can go on from there. So yeah, let's go for the U-turn here. Yeah, he's gonna let it go down. Bounce with me down. Oh my goodness. I... He sees that I'm Life Orb. Man, I, I just... I'm like, I'm so happy that happened, because Sableye was a bit of an issue to my team. But at the same time, I just know I would be so upset. Because I've played uh, very defensive teams before, and it is one of the most, the single most upsetting things to have that happen. And I just, uh, I feel bad, you know? I feel really bad. Here's kind of what I want to do. I'm thinking now is a good time to get uh, Dollar Bills in because Dollar Bills will be able to go for um, just get the rain up. But then he'll bring in Chansey and heal it. I need to keep this pressure up. I can't let Chansey recover up on me. So um, if I bring in Scizor, let's bring in Scizor. Let's keep Scizor doing work. This is what Scizor is made for. This is why I love Scizor. This is I love this pressure. I don't want to let him get rocks up because Moltres is still in a good spot. Um, if I if he comes in with anything that I outspeed, I'm immediately going for U-turn. If he doesn't, we'll have to read what that is. It could be a Terrakion, and I could go straight away for the Bullet Punch. Because remember, guys, today's mindset is I don't f with you. If there is a threat on the field. I'm taking it out. I'm making the big plays today. I'm going to take out those threats. It has to happen. So Mega Sableye. Mega Sableye down after that. Moltres ate up the Willow. Finished him off with a U-turn. <sighs> See, if I... Oh man, I wish I was Specs. Because he would have seen... He would have seen what I did there. He, and now, oh... Now that Mega Sableye is gone, Proto can shoot off superpowers without fear. He can shoot off superpowers without fear. Oh man, things just got good. So he's thinking. If I were him, I would be thinking Rotom Wash right now, personally. But maybe that's just because, I don't know. When I do calcs on Pokemon like Rotom, it could be anything. This is the Gorgeist. Oh, I forgot he has another ghost. I can't be shooting him off. Duh, 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 duh guys. Um, yeah. Mega Sableye. Chansey. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. Gorgeist. Going for another Willow, probably? Probably going for another Willow, uh, and um, I actually need to make sure because now that I think about it, he might actually outspeed me. If he put in enough speed investment, I gotta take it to the decks. I gotta go Gore Guy Super 54. I'm only speed 65 on Scizor, and I'm not invested. I bet he speed creeped me. I bet he speed creeped me. Um, I'm not risking it. I'm full on switching out into... Oh, you know what? He doesn't have magic bounce anymore? Gudra. Gudra. Get it, Bunny Sword. I could have hard switched into Fox there. Fox is a hard counter to this guy. But, um... Bunny Sword, though. He goes for the protect to scout what I'm gonna do. 
and uh, I just got a Skype message. Is that him? No, it's just the GBA main chat. <sighs> okay, so he goes for the protect. Good, good, good. I got a free switch into Bunny Sore. Now, I could go for a Toxic, but it wouldn't work against the Nitto Queen. I could go for an Acid Armor, and then Terrakion can't two-shot me. I don't have the Rain up, so... It's too early to set up for, for the win, but it's not too early to set up just in a way to kind of... He's switching out, and if he's going to switch out, who is he going to switch into? Because I could immediately Dragon Tail them on the Switch. But I'd rather Acid Armor first. I'm going to Acid Armor. I'm going to get my setup. He stays in. What's he going for? The Willow? He does go for the Willow. So I'm going to set up again and then maybe rest next turn. Yeah, let's get, um... Let's get another Acid Armor in here. Yeah, I want my plus two defense, and then Bunny Sword is basically untouchable. Of course, it sucks that the rain's not up, because I'm not going to be able to uh, immediately get rid of my sleep. But at plus four, none of the physical threats are an issue. He might have Haze. Omelet. Okay, he's going to go for maybe a recover here or something. Maybe a seismic toss. Let's, uh, let's get him out. The burn is only a little bit more damage than my lefties. So let's Dragon Tail this guy the F out of here. He does go for Stealth Rock. Okay. So that's what he needed, but I do have a Defogger. So actually that's probably exactly what he wanted with Omelet. But Omelet's getting worn, and Gorgeist comes back in. Gorgeist doesn't really have anything for me. He's going to frisk and see my leftovers. That's kind of cool. Um, getting whittled a little bit by this burn. But I'm still not all that concerned by it. I'm going to go for a Toxic here. Because I don't think he's going to switch. I don't think he knows I have Toxic. And I don't think he's switching in Nidoqueen. He does stay in. I get the Toxic off. He's badly poisoned, and he goes for Willow again. I guess, why? Predict he might have predicted a switch. I'm not sure into whom. Um. Hmm. Now, I could... So, part of me is like... His special threats can't hurt me. His physical threats... Terrakion mainly can hit me pretty hard, but I'm at plus four right now. So let me just I type Bunny Soul instead of Gudra. Let's go Gudra. Gudra with lefties versus a Terrakion, and I'm at plus four. It's gonna be thirty-five percent max for the close combat. Um. And if I go to plus 6, then it's 27% max. Possible 5 hit KO versus a possible... A guaranteed 4 hit KO. Hmm. I might Acid Armor again and then rest regardless. So let's, let's go for one more Acid Armor. He's staying in. Still staying in. What's he going for now? Leech Seed. That's a good move. That's a really good move. Um, he's going to try and whittle me down with this... with this damage here. Yeah, and... Um, getting all that recovery. Toxic will start mounting. He's definitely going for chip damage to take me out. I predict he'll probably try for a switch here. Um, so rest, it, I mean, yeah. I just, I'm in here now. I know that Leech Seed's gonna stay up no matter what. The Leech Seed was a good play. But I'm gonna go for the rest, and if something, he does withdraw. Who's he going into? 
Chesticles. Nidoqueen. Queen. Um, okay. So, probably the only thing he can do right now is start shooting off some special attacks. Nidoqueen against Gudra. He can actually, with a modest sheer force life orb ice beam, he can hit me for 39%, which is quite a lot. And I'm asleep for the next few turns, so I'm going to switch in... Dollar Bills, I think. The rain will get set up. The difficulty is trying to figure out what he's carrying, because Nidoqueen has an incredible move pool. Um, we know that this turn, he's he's scared of this. The the his main goal right now is get Bunny Soar out of there, get him out. Um, I in doing this switch, he's made a really good move because I'm gonna have to switch out and lose all those boosts, and all I really got for it is a a toxic on Gorgeist, and he can probably get Chansey in here at some point and, and get rid of it. But uh. Doll Bills is the best first switch, I think, because I want the rain up, and I don't predict that he's going to out-predict me. But this is going to be good to scout whether he's physical or special. I think he's going for the Ice Beam, maybe the Ice Punch. So we'll see. Pointed Stones, there's the rain, and is it Ice Beam? Is it Ice Beam? It's Ice Punch. He's physical. He scared me out. He got me. He got me, guys. Fair and square. So, um, he probably has Thunder Punch, and given how much damage that did, Thunder Punch is definitely going to take me out. But here's the thing, I know, now that I know that he's physical, the hardest thing he can hit uh, Swampert for, it, he ha he's not modest, so even if he has HP Grass, it's not going to hit me that hard. So what I can do is actually switch in Uncle Buck here, uh, take the predicted Thunder Punch, He's got to be carrying it. If he's physical set, it's Fire Punch, Thunder Punch, Ice Punch, um, maybe Poison Jab. He's actually going to withdraw. Is he going into Omelette? Okay, that's okay. That is A-OK -okay with me. That is A-OK. -okay. Uncle Buck, can you do 50% to Chansey? It's close. Um, you can do 49% with a Waterfall. Gorgeist is likely coming in. But, um, like I said, guys, Threat is on the field. Take care of business. Waterfall, right now. He's got to switch into Gorgeist. Because I can't let Omelette... I can't, yeah. So... Let's see, does that mean he doesn't have Thunder Punch? Does that mean no Thunder Punch on him? He, I'm not, I'm not going to let him... Mm -hmm. Good, so he switches out. I don't have Ice Punch on this guy. Luke's sister. His Rotom. Mm. Yeah, a good switch in to me here. Uh, he's got two Mega Swampert. Not counters, but uh, definitely issues preventing a Mega Swampert sweep. And that's... This guy, who is, there's no way he's defensively invested. No, maybe he is. Shoot. Maybe specially defensive invested. That amount of damage. So a Hydro Pump. Hydro Pump ain't ish to a Bunny Sword. And now that I know, now that I know that Nidoqueen is physical. Because I can't stay in against this guy. Oh no, I can stay in against this guy. Because if this is a modest, fully invested... Oh, could this be the moment, guys? <laughs> I typed Mega Rotom. Mega Swampert. Um, I'm not going to mess too much with those. Versus a Rotom W. Who is maybe specially defensive. In the rain, a Hydro, if he goes for it, is going to do 55% to me. So here's the problem. He might really think I'm going to switch here. And if he does, then he's going for a Volt Switch, which won't affect me if I stay in. But if he goes for a Hydro Pump and he's offensively invested, it's going to hurt. So I might need to reveal that I'm Mirror Coat here just because I want to kill him. So let's do it. Let's go for the Mirror Coat. 
No, he goes for the Volt Switch, and I stay in and reveal the Mirror Coat. Shoot. Ah, man. Mm. The thing is, though, I couldn't... I could not go for an attack there to show him that I don't have it. Because now I think he's going to go for a Willow. We saw that he outsped me. If he's going to go for a Willow, I could switch into Bunny Sore. Let's do it. Let's switch into Bunny Sore here. I'm still asleep. The hydration boost is going to kick in. We've had two turns of rain. The switch in. The waterfall. Then the mirror cup. Switch in. He does go. He goes to the volt switch again. Shoot. Uh, he's gonna get momentum now. Who's he bringing in? Ah, uh, he's gonna bring in Chansey. Shoot. He's gonna bring in Chansey, and all I can really do is phase it out, but it's gonna get a um, it's gonna get a recover off in the process. Bring it back to pretty much full health. So the dub that was a smart move. Oh, you know what? He's choiced. Probably. No, wait, we saw leftovers. We saw leftovers. He's not choiced. <laughs> it took me a second there, guys, but he's not choiced. Okay. Um the game is afoot. I want to get Scizor back in. I want to get rid of rocks. I want Scizor in. He should bring in. If I were him right now, you either go Nidoqueen Queen because you immediately want to try and force me out, or you go. It depends what he wants to do. Chessicle. So he is going to go into Nidoqueen. Queen. Hydration, and I'm awake. And I get some leftovers recovery. Um, let's redo that Nidoqueen calc real quick, and actually leave this one. I need, might need to move this one with it. Nidoqueen, offensive with 252, adamant, ice punch versus a Rudra. It is not that super. With leftovers, and my current investment, which is 252. No, it's not. It's a uh, it's hundred there. Ice Punch does way too much. Might even kill me here. Hmm. Let's think. Let's think this through. Ice Punch incoming. I'd really like to get rid of those rocks, but I don't think it's the right situation right now to go for it. You can go for the Thunder Punch on the Switch. Mega Swamper, to be honest, isn't really scared of any of those moves. Fox can't come in until I get the Defog off. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go Proto. Because there's one thing I know he's not going for, and that's Fire Punch. He might go for the Thunder Punch, anticipating the switch into Polito because he's seen it before. Or he might go to the Ice Punch because he's like, really needs to get the Ice Punch off. Uh, he's gonna go for Outrage. Wow. Not bad, but that's resisted, buddy. And you can't switch out. And two Bullet Punches is going to kill you. Yeah, two bullet punches will kill you. So let's do it. Let's finish off this chesticles. And take one more outrage in the process. I really did not predict the outrage. That was a... Uh... Oh no. He only got the two attack. He's switching out right now. No. Shoot. So who's going to take the bullet punch? Rotom Wash? Yeah, bullet punch is only going to do 10% to a Rotom Wash. 
He's not staying in with a confused, almost dead chesticles. He's not doing that. He's switching to Rotom Wash. Uh, let's get... Let's get Bunny Sore in here. Outrage, not bad. Luke's sister, the Rotom Wash. As I switch in to Bunny Sore, I think I have uh, another turn of the rain. No, shoot, I can seven. <laughs> Sorry, guys. And we're back, guys. Uh, so Dan was really cool about everything. We replayed all the turns as best we could. The damage counts are almost identical to what they were before. Everything's the same. We're in the back, exact same situation we were in before. With me hard switching into Gudra as he hard switched out of Nidoqueen into Luke's sister. So, um, we're in a good spot here. The rain has stopped, is the thing. And I predict he's going to go for a, uh, a Volt Switch. And I think he'll probably Volt Switch into Chansey. I mean... It's hard to say. I thought he was going to go into Chansey earlier, but uh, I think he's going to do that now. So one thing I could do is just go straight for the Dragon Tail and kind of mess with him a little bit. Um, my health is not great. It's not in a great spot. He could go for the Willow to try and chip me, and I don't have the rain up right now. So another thing I could do is go into Uncle Buck. Since without the rain boosted Hydro, it's not going to do all that much, and he won't be able to Volt Switch on me. He could go, but if he's going for the Willow, then I have to go for Refresh that turn. I still really need to get Proto in at some point, get rid of those rocks. But Chansey could just set him up again. Bunny Sword's in an interesting spot here. Um, I could go for the Toxic. If he opts to stay in and go for the Willow. So let's do that, just in case he stays in to go for a Willow. I think he's going for a Volt Switch. He is. But the only person I don't think he'll go into right now is Gorgeist. And she's the only one who won't get Toxic. Of course, Chansey could go for the, um, the Aromatherapy to get rid of stuff. But then I could just start setting up on her. She doesn't have a lot to do, really. There's not a ton for her to do. Terrakian wouldn't be bad. Um... Omelette. So it is going, he is going to Chansey. So this is going to get me a little bit of chip damage. Um, likely that he'll go for the recover here. I think he'll probably go for recover then aromatherapy. Or uh, yeah, soft boiled then aromatherapy is my guess. So then he'll be at full health and good everything so hmm. I need Scizor to come in when it's safe and I need him to go for defog to get rid of the rocks but then Chansey will be in and I'll have to switch out after that so I might just have to go for Dragon Tail here let him I mean, I'll heal his poison if that's the case. Maybe I could go for another setup now that I know that I'm kind of safe. I could go for the acid armor here. So let's do that. As he goes for... I'm imagining he's going for soft oil because he doesn't want to lose this chance here. He does go for soft oil. And now I think his next turn... So what's he's packing? He's got stealth rocks, soft boiled, and counter. Probably also aromatherapy, but maybe not. We'll have to see. If it's not aromatherapy, he's just going to switch out to cure himself. But now that I'm starting to set up on him, his the clock's running out. And I've got uh, Leftovers Recovery coming in, so I don't, until he does something, he is going to withdraw. But who's he got now to try and take me out? It's just Halloween. He's going to go for the Leech Seed here. Take some poison damage along the way. The Leech Seed is definitely a good play. I, oh man, I probably should have gone for the Dragon Tail there. Just keep Halloween out of here. I mean, I can only let him get... I can only let him get one 
off. I'm actually, you know what? Because I don't think anything can kill me at this point. His best move is Leech Seed here. I don't want to let him get a Leech Seed and a Burn because then I need to go for a Recover. But the next time Halloween gets Dragon Tailed in, he's going to be able to do that anyway. So the question is whether or not I want to get to plus 6 again. And I don't think I need to, but just to be sure, let's see how much damage an Outrage does to a plus 4. Uh, a Nidoqueen Outrage does to a plus 4 Gudra. does 36%. And to a plus 6, it does 27%. Wow. That's funny. Um, then I could just rest on it. So let's go for the Dragon Tail here. Let's only take one. He does go for Leech Seed. That's the right play on his part. Unfortunately, <laughs> I get a crit. Unfortunately, I don't have Chancy comes in. Hmm. With the leech seed coming through. Now, now might be a good chance to get to my plus six on acid armor. So let's do that. He might switch back into... Yeah, he's probably going to switch back into Halloween. Go for the Willow, maybe? Yeah, he does. He predicted that well, but I really wanted my plus six, and I don't mind going for the uh, going for the rest and eating the full, the full turns of it. So we know he outspeeds me. That's another thing, right? We saw him outspeed. Oh, no, we only really... I, hmm. And I could review the video that I recorded of it. That's kind of cheating though, isn't it? To review the play-by-play. -play. I think I outspeed him. Um, let's go... So, Because if I rest right now, then the Willow does nothing at all. So yeah, let's rest now, eat up an extra turn of that, as he goes for the Willow. I mean, he could go for an attack, but I don't see what he would even do. There's the Willow, it fails because I'm asleep. You get a little health back from Leftovers and from Leap Seed, and then the mounting extra damage. So, I'm predicting this... Leap Seed actually does quite a lot. I'm predicting this, um... Chansey doesn't have aromatherapy, which would make this that would make a lot of sense if it didn't. Now I'm just gonna start clicking Dragon Tail on this uh, on this pumpkin and praying to dear sweet Jesus that we don't have a disconnect because if we do, I'm just gonna rage. I'm just gonna absolutely rage. So we got to make these quickly. There's the Halloween. Who's he switching into? Nitto Queen to get an extra chesticles. So he wants to get an attack off with Chesticles. He wants to get as many attacks off as possible. But we've seen Ice Punch and Outrage, and we know that they're just not going to do enough to me. Oh no, he wants the health back from... Yeah, he wants that Seated Recovery back. That's good. Maybe that Rest was not very useful after all. Um, he's going to go for Ice Punch. Just to try and get damage off and not take... Wow, that's a crit. Oh my word. Ugh. Shoot. All right, so next move. We get the rain up with dollar bills. That oh man. I mean, I guess I lost a Pokemon to a crit. He lost a Pokemon to a crit. Dollar bills comes in. I think I'll go for the Thunder Punch. I just, I really do. 
Proto comes in, I force him out with a bullet punch. Bullet punch does not hit. Ah, man. I gotta get these rocks down, though. Let's bring in Proto. I need time to think here. I'm not going to have a lot more opportunities to get Proto in to get a defog off. And if I don't, then Moltres is going to have an issue. Um, but if he predicts that I'm going to go for the defog here, I don't know that he thinks I have defog. I think he's going to switch into Rotom. And now I don't have a good switch into Rotom. Man, that was so unfortunate. Bunny Sword keeps having these sets that I know put in work against his team, and he got a crit on the first attack. So, I mean, it's... How big of a play does A-Drive want to make right now? Because Chesticles is kind of a problem, but most Pokemon on my team will kill it. Whereas if I give a free switch into... But he'll outspeed me and kill me outright. So at least I get something if I go for Bullet Punch. Okay, let's think. Today's mindset, I don't f with you. Chesticles, kind of an issue. Kind of a little bit of an issue. He needs to die. He needs to die. I got a bullet punch. He might switch into Rotom. Yes, he stays in. He didn't think I was going to go for the bullet punch. Oh my god, I needed that. That crit did not matter. That crit did not matter. There are a lot of crits today, though. <laughs> there are a lot of crits. But that crit did not matter. We saw earlier that I did more than 50%. Okay. <sighs> Luke's sister comes in. I've still got rocks on the field, and I don't have a safe switch anymore. The rain is not going. Um, he could go for a burn here. So, Dalla Bills, if you guys remember my move set, has rest and sleep talk as well as toxic and scald. So, I could switch in. really think he's going for the Volt Switch. I need to keep Scizor alive like in, t in its entirety to kill Terrakion, because Terrakion could sweep my team. This is probably what he's want. That's why he hasn't hit the field yet. He's just trying to sweep the entire team with it. If I think he's going for a Volt Switch right now, then Uncle Buck is the best switch in. But I could lose Uncle Buck in the process. If he goes for the Willow, Uncle Buck can refresh. Let's go Uncle Buck. Let's go Uncle Buck and see what goes on here. This Rodent is a problem. He does go for the Volt Switch. There's no way he's going to go for... Uh, he could go for the Willow here. Not in the rain, I'm pretty sure he outspeeds me. I'm fairly certain he does. They've only ever seen me go for um, Mirror Coat, which always goes second. We could switch into Gorgeist, who would be hit hardest, I think, by an earthquake since we're not in the rain. I mean, it won't do a lot. It will hardly do anything. But Waterfall does more because it's the only thing that affects Luke's sister. It does more to Luke's sister. So let's go for the Waterfall. He stays in. Probably a Willow. We see that I outspeed. And he goes for... Oh, I flinch him. Lol. <laughs> now we're seeing the hacks. So if I disconnect again... I don't know. We gotta make these turns quickly. I'm going to go for the Waterfall again. Uh, we see that I outspeed. He could be going for the Hydro, but there's no rain, so I don't think he would. 
He goes for the Willow. I'm going to go for the Refresh this next turn. So I got some damage on Luke's sister. That's going to be important going on, moving on in this game. Refresh here. He might go for the Hydro, but I think he might hard switch. No, he's going to go for the Hydro. Shoot. Pain split. It's going to hurt me a little bit, not much. Such a problem without Gudra. I can't believe that crit. I'm so upset about that. I can't one on one this guy. Eventually, Uncle Buck's just gonna get worn. Dollar Bills can come in on the Willow, the second Willow. And then I can rest. So let's do that. I thought I was in a good position when Gudra was in and literally losing it. It's the same thing every every week. Losing the Gudra is a huge, huge problem. Um, huge problem. There's the Willow. And he misses it. Just not the end of the world. Because he's going to outspeed and he's going to go for the Volt Switch now. Because it's going to hit me super effective. So I'm going to go for a rest here. I want to be back up at full health. Oh, he's going to hard withdraw into Omelet. Hmm. This match is taking a long time. <laughs> long, long time. Let's just go for Sleep Talk. Don't go for rest. Go for a scald. That's not going to do a lot of damage, but it might burn. There's the burn. <laughs> he goes for a seismic toss. She can do some damage. Shouldn't be a three hit KO though. Could switch into Uncle Buck here. On the seismic toss. Like, something's got to go down, and Proto would be a great Pokemon to do that, but he unfortunately was my answer to Nidoqueen, so I'm in a weird situation here. I mean, Nidoqueen's dead now, so we've got to assess these win conditions. Rotom Wash is at a good point. Dollar Bills is essentially just here to set up the rain that I don't super need. It'd be useful to help take out Terrakion, but I don't really need it. The thing is, is that there's Pete who is basically death fodder because even though I could get Rotom in to get a to get a defog off, anyone will kill Pete in one hit, and I don't really have much that I can hit for hard back. So Pete's basically a death fodder mon at this point. I could switch him in now and then have a free switch into Uncle Buck who could force the hurt on Omelette. Because there's a really low chance I'm going to do anything. I'm going to do that. I'm going to sack Pete. Pete has once again <laughs> served very little purpose outside of, uh, he does go for the soft boil, so he's trying to keep this Chansey healthy. Trying to keep Chansey healthy. Um, Uncle Buck comes in and he gets a free switch into Rotom Wash. Proto comes in, he gets a free switch into Gorgeist. Fox comes in and does not scare out Omelette. Mm. So I think if he plays smart and safe here, uh, I might be in trouble. 
because how much damage can I do to Chansey? 22% with a Hurricane? That's not enough. I literally can't lose Proto, so Uncle Buck's got to come in. Yeah, without Gudra, I uh, unfortunately don't really have an answer to Rotom. Yeah, it's pretty unfortunate. Gore guys that can hit for 24. Gotta go for the waterfall here. In the rain, it's the most damage I can do. Gore guys will probably come in. I could have hard switched, but I'm just I'm taking mounting rocks damage here. Luke's sister comes in at a relatively good health point. Does a good amount of damage. He can keep going for pain split. He can go for Willow here. Uncle Buck, I think, may have served his purpose now because there's not really anyone on his team at this point. Uh, like, I could kill Terrakion, but so can Scizor. He can't kill Gorgeist. He could kill Chansey, but so could Scizor. Um, so I gotta keep... I gotta put as much damage on this guy as possible. He might go for the, for the Pain Split here. He might go for the Willow. He opts to go for the Willow. Likely going for a pain split here. In the rain, he might actually kill me with a hydro if he has it. If he has the hydro against the mega swamper, 46 to 55. Yeah, he'll probably kill me. Because he knows I'm going for the refresh, right? So what does he go for? Pain split? That would actually maybe even heal Proto. But if he goes for... Oh man, that's such a risky play. If I switch in Proto right now, pain split will heal it a little bit. But then he's going to outspeed me and he can go for anything. I'll probably die. Um, in a bit of a hard situation here. Might even be better to just go for Waterfall even with the burn. So I think I have one more turn. Might go for the Willow again. I go for Pain Split. You could pretty much do anything here. I'm going to go for the Waterfall again. See how much I can get on him right before he goes. That's a crit. That's lucky. He goes for Pain Split though, um, which will put us both in red. This is only form of recovery on this guy though, I have to remember. Um, yeah, that crit ended up not doing a whole lot for me. He goes for Pain Split again, I think it benefits me. He's going to withdraw as I go for Refresh. The burn won't kill me. He sends in Halloween. So actually now I live to see another day. Because I'm pretty sure I... Um... I'm pretty sure I can survive... Rain stops. I'm pretty sure I can survive a switch into Stealth Rocks again. You go for a leech seed here, you could go for a willow. Fox can come in, and then he'll switch into Chansey. As I U-turn into Scizor. And then I can defog. 
but I've at that point taken way too much damage with Fox. Yeah, because he can just switch between... I, I can't really kill... He's got... If Rotom goes down, then Scizor can come in and just bullet punch everything. But... Rotom needs to go down first in order to do that. Dollar Bills, then. You come in. Take some rocks damage. Set up the rain as you go for, I'm guessing, Leech Seed. Yep, there's the Leech Seed. He misses. I'm sorry, Dan. This game is kind of riddled by late game hacks. Riddled by them. He takes some toxic damage. Um. He could go for the kill here, he could go for another leap seed, he could go for the switch to Chansey. <clears throat> hit Scald, because I think I wake up. I should have been keeping better track of that, but I think no, it's another turn. Shoot. Should have gone for a sleep talk. Here's the seed bomb. And I live at one. <laughs> Live at one. But the funny thing is, is that that means I'll wake up and go for rest again. I can just let this toxic damage kind of mount on this guy. That's really unfortunate, actually, because now, yep, I'm going for, uh, I'm going for rest. And Dollar Bill stays healthy. I mean, he'll get another seed bomb off, but that toxic damage he does not appreciate. Living at one. Living at one. I think I'll go for Leech Seed here. Now he goes straight for the Seed Bomb, wants to finish me off, that's a crit. No? I'm so confused, how did that do more damage? Sleep Talk. Give me a Scald. Give me a Scald please, because a Rain Boosted Scald might actually take out Halloween and then I might be in a position, a rain boost is called after the toxic damage. Might put Halloween in a dangerous position. And I will live a seismic toss if he opts to switch into Chansey here. He is going to withdraw into whom? Omelette? Yeah, Omelette's still healthy. What do I go for here? Sleep talk for not rest. Toxic would be fine. Nope. Sleep talk rest. Shoot. One more sleep talk, and then I can rest again because Omelette can't kill me with two with a seismic toss. You can kill me with two seismic tosses, but you can't kill me with one. <laughs> this is such a strange situation. This entire battle is just pretty strange because I still think I have a chance. Double rest. Shoot. I, of course, go for rest here. So I wake up out speed and rest, and it's going to take him uh, four seismic tosses to kill me on Omelette. <laughs> oh, he's going to switch into Halloween. Luke's sister. Oh, he wants to pain split. He wants that health back. It's actually at a pretty good health pool at the moment also. He could Volt Switch, but I think he's gonna Pain Split. And how much health does he have? Is it about 45%? I want to say, oh, you know, about 50. Let's just call it 50. So he's got, at level 50, 78 health left, which he will split. He would heal Uncle Buck. He would actually heal Uncle Buck. 
So let's bring in Uncle Buck. Because I won't die to rocks. So I resist them. As he goes for Pain Split and heals me back. No, he goes for Volt Switch. Hmm. He might not have Hydro Pump. Volt Switch, Pain Split, Willow Wisp. Will-O-Wisp kills me this turn if he goes for it. So, we gotta get Luke's sister. And he's, no, he's gonna switch. Hard switch. Into Halloween. Who is toxic and is not going to appreciate taking two of these. I'm so scared that we disconnect right now. And if we do, I think I just have to forfeit. The rain stopped. I should still outspeed. Earthquake's gonna do more damage at this point. It might not be enough to kill. It might not be enough. It's not gonna be enough to kill. I need him dead. And I hope he does something that results in him dying this turn. Goes for the seed bomb to take me out. Uncle Buck goes down. I hope I did enough damage that he goes down to Toxic. Oh, I forgot about Leftovers. He's not going to. Shoot. Proto's got to come in here. Take some rocks damage. Halloween dies to Toxic this turn. If I lose Proto, nothing will kill Chansey. Except running it out of PP on Soft Boil. But Fox is perfectly healthy right now. Perfectly healthy. I want to get rid of these rocks. I'm going to go for Defog. He stays in. He goes for Seed Bomb. That will probably kill me, but it might not. It doesn't kill me. It doesn't kill me. And Toxic's gonna take him out. Halloween is down. Luke's sister can come in. But I think Chansey will come in and set up the rocks again. Yep. Shoot. Actually, yeah, I should have thought that one through. Because even doing that, he's going to go for rocks right now. I could bring in Fox, but there's pretty much nothing I can do to the Chansey. Um, while well, he's... yeah. While well, he seismic tosses me bit by bit down to death. If I switch out and rocks go up, there's nothing else I can do. But if I stay in and defog, it doesn't matter. So I just killed Proto. I misplayed that. I, I killed Proto by not going for U-turn. U-turn was the best move there. U-turn was the best move. I should have done that. All he has to do is click Stealth Rocks right now. No. I just disconnected. But you know what? It doesn't matter. I'm going to secede the victory. Hi, guys. Sorry for the abrupt screen change there, but it's a different day, actually. <laughs> uh, we didn't end up getting resolved for what the eventual outcome of the game would be in time for me to get it up on the video the same day recording so this is a separate recording for me to tell you that the eventual outcome of the game is that St. Louis Rampardos A Drive Dan take the game with a 3-3 win in their favor and that happened for a couple of reasons we're gonna I'll go over the rule set with you guys really quick uh, as soon as the game ended I, I stopped recording thinking oh I'd hop back on and tell you guys what the result was and then do my little outro 
But instead, it's important for us to talk about the rules here. Um, one is I forfeited the match. So regardless of anything else, what the score was at the end of that game, at that moment, that's what's being locked in in this circumstance. And what the way the game would dictate who won in a situation like that is who has the most um, remaining HP, uh, percentage-based. If the percentage-based remaining HP is a tie, then it's actual HP-based. Which in this circumstance, and in both of those scenarios, both max HP and percentage HP, both of those would have gone to Dan because he had an almost full health chancy, a, a little, like, yellow zoned Rotom Wash, and a full health Terrakion. Whereas I had an almost dead Scizor and a low, a medium health, medium to high health Politoed and then a full health Moltres. So, I mean, Chansey's health pool alone would, would dictate that they got the win there. But he also has two Pokemon basically at full health and one that's not. So, percentage based wise, he had the win there. Also, I forfeited. So, just it's mounting against that. Part of the reason we had to discuss the rules was because of this connects, the time got a little messed up, the duration of the battle. The battle actually should have ended at uh, a minute marker, closer to like 19 minutes remaining on the second video, or the se after the disconnect, to so the second clip. And that would have actually still had a drive winning at a score of 4-4 four to four instead of 3-3. Three to three. Other options we were thinking, well, do we hop on showdown and try and play out the rest of the battle do we try and predict how the game would have gone how do we work with this and ultimately it's too much in a circumstance like this the forfeit went out the game would have ended by timeout before anything else really got resolved uh dan and i talked about what probably would have happened he said he was going to keep trying to set up stealth rocks i was going to keep trying to defog Eventually, he would have had to switch into Rotom Wash or kill me with a Seismic Toss, but if he killed me with a Seismic Toss, then the rocks are gone, I'm able to come in with Moltres, and this whole big thing, this whole scenario about, like, who does what in which scenario, and it just ends up not making any sense to solve it that way. So here's how we, this is how we eventually reached it. Hopefully, this is going to be something that's not an issue anymore, and um, at this time, I'd like to announced that the remaining battles until I get this solved, until I get this consistency on my internet cleared up, are going to be on Pokemon Showdown. And I know a lot of people really don't want to hear that, and I really don't want to be doing it. I've always been a Wi-Fi battler. Uh, looking at all my old videos, that's how it was. When I made my comeback series, that was on Pokemon Showdown because I didn't want to breed a bunch of new Pokemon just for uh, that short series. I need, I mean, at, at this point though, it, it needs to be done. The consistency of my internet is not acceptable for the quality of the content I want to be putting on my channel. So um, I promise that you'll still have great commentary. I'll still talk you guys through my moves. The battle won't be any different except that it's going to look a little bit different. And I really wish there were ways to, to combat this without having to get a new 3DS, but unfortunately, that's not where I can be putting my money right now. You know, this is a hobby for me on the side. I have real bills to pay, and getting a new 3DS and a new capture card would set me back probably $300, $400. So I, I, I can't really make that sell at the moment. It's just a little too much for me. It's a little too great. I'm going to look into seeing if I can fix the network card on my 3DS in some other way, but... I'm really thinking that's not going to be the case. So until I solve this, until I find a solution, and I'm sure there is one somewhere, uh, the remainder of my battles are going to be on Pokemon Showdown. I've mentioned this to the GBA chat. Most of the people in the GBA chat are going to be okay with it. Upset, yes, but no one wants to play with these disconnects anymore. And the only person who's really, really opposed to it is Cooper, and I don't play him this season. So it should all end up working out. Rampardos wins this game. Dan, congratulations. You played very well. You have a very good, solid team. Really, really want to know what would have happened if you hadn't gotten that hacks on Gudra, and I'm pretty sure it would have meant uh, a Gudra sweep because I don't, I didn't see anyone on your team killing me, to be perfectly honest. But, you know, 
You win some, you lose some. That's Pokemon, guys. It's a little upsetting to me that two matches in a row hacks have led to Gudra dying when he would have done on the massive, just solid amount of work to the opponent's team. Hey, you know, you can't win them all. Um, I feel like I prepared well for the team. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm recording this at a point where I now also know that my Locker Room 3 didn't record audio, so you guys didn't get to see my team building process, but, you know, I, I gave a lot of it to you guys through the recording of this video, so thank you guys so much for watching. Sorry it was a long one, you might want to watch this one on double speed. As always, my name's Jim Leader Geo, you guys are the challengers, thanks for stopping by, and I'll see you guys next time.